there YouTube. Today we're hiking. I cannot really see much because I forgot sunglasses and it is super sunny out here. But we are going to make the most of it and just enjoy this hike. So we're going to hike this two mile trail and I was going to take you guys along with me and I brought a few items so that we can smoke on the go. Hi there, excuse the wind you guys, it's really really windy out here. I seriously think we stole somebody's smoke spot because there was like a wrapper from like Blunt Wraps, you know like those things that say two for 99 cents, I think they're called cigarellos or those black and milds that people cut open and use blunts and then there was a towel behind me like laid in this tree so that it has like this little seat and actually this is like a really good place to sesh because there's this large tree above me that's shading me from the sun it's blocking the wind a little bit it's giving me like a nice little place to sit and a nice backdrop so this is actually the perfect place for us to sit here and smoke there's a backdrop of in the background which is gorgeous and there are hills all around me so this is like just a nice place to smoke I always find it so relaxing to just get out and go smoke in nature because it's free for you to go out on a hike and it's just like one of the most therapeutic things especially if you live somewhere as beautiful as I do so nice to be able to toke on the go and I have it all packed up with the little lid. I actually had it repacked for me so that I didn't have to sit here and grind up some weed. And I have the canister full of pre-ground cannabis so that if I want to pack another bowl or two on this high, I have like a whole pod full of weed, which is really, really nice. This spot is like super secluded though. I don't think that I could have asked for a better smoke spot and it did take me super long to find it. It was kind of right off the hiking trail, which is like perfect for us stoners who like like to go hiking in nature, but like really just like, like to smoke weed in nature. This is like the perfect little spot because it was legitimately right off of the trail's entrance. But I'm seriously just enjoying just getting outside. I never get to take you guys outside and with this new camera it makes it so much easier to set up and have a nice little shot 
and be able to just sit down and sesh with you guys in a few cool places because this is a really neat smoke sesh. I really wish that there was a way for me to just like bring every single one of you along with me and in this way I feel like I am. So I think I'm going to smoke a little bit more and then maybe we will get Periscope going if we can. I don't know if I have service out here. You guys can see the wind is crazy. Let's see if we can get Periscope in. Hi there Periscope. I'm out hiking right now and oh my god, I actually have service. I am shocked that I have service out here, but it is going to be such a treat for you guys because it is absolutely beautiful where I am. So I'm so glad that I have service and I can like share this with you guys. But I'm like underneath the tree in the middle of the California hills. It's kind of gorgeous. So I wanted to share this, show you guys the view. Uh, and I have my camera set up here. <laughs> See, so, so I was just filming my little smoke sesh and I was like, I'll bring Periscope along with me. So I'm so glad that I can actually bring you guys. and it was just super easy and could actually fit into my Stash Logics bag. And then I brought probably about an eighth of weed with me, even though we're not gonna use an eighth. And I already have those bowls back, so I always bring too much weed though. Like, I would rather have more than enough than to not have enough in a situation, you know? Like, I hate it when somebody shows up and they only bring like one nug or they don't bring anything at all to a smoke sesh. So I always like to have like more than enough for me into somebody. Maybe somebody will want to smoke with me or something. I don't know. You never know who you'll run into. I made a lot of friends smoking around places. Let's see here. Um, let's get that joint and let's go over here and look it up. Okay, you guys, let's finish up this joint. I feel like I've smoked all over the place here. This is such an inspiring little place to be. It's so nice to be able to just be out in such a beautiful place. And I just feel so alone. It's so private. here and be super creative with you guys which is so so nice Ugh. I'm telling you if you're ever in a bad mood if you ever have a bad day getting out into nature is the best particularly if you're stoned I feel like I'm always more stoned but I'm out in nature because honestly nature gives me a little bit of anxiety to be quite honest like when I entered this park it said beware of rattlesnakes and like on my last hike that I went on it wasn't at this particular nature reserve but it was at another nature reserve nearby one of the hikers had told me they had just saw this huge rattlesnake and I'm just like 
terrified of snakes and I know that like as long as you don't tread in their territory like if you're not stomping on them they're not gonna just like charge after you and you just have to be aware of your footing and stuff but it's still it's just like you know it can give you a little bit of anxiety and so like being able to just like toke out here is so nice because like it has legitimately helped my anxiety I'm just like I'm ready to go explore I'm ready to just like you know be cautious but I'm just like not as in my own head about being out in nature it's just, like not as scary anymore you know particularly if you go out on hikes alone like it can be a little bit scary sometimes you know especially if it's a new hiking location um, but hikes alone are actually really really nice it's like super therapeutic I don't think I would have the same experience if I were to bring somebody else along it's always nice to have like alone time And there are like legitimately. That is definitely a joint crutch. <laughs> and next to me over here is definitely another. That is so funny that stoners think alike. They were like, this is right off the hiking trail. You don't have to hike that far. And it's a beautiful view. It's super secluded. This is the perfect place to smoke. Like I legitimately thought the same thing and it makes me so happy. The fact that I'm just crashing someone else's smoke spot makes me so happy though. It's like I can't escape the cannabis community. And I love it because like I don't want to. Like it is so nice just to be able to go out in nature and still be reminded that like I'm a part of this community that is so much bigger than me, you know? And these people, some some of them share the same beliefs as me, and like, it's just very refreshing to have such a peaceful community who enjoys the small things like just getting stoned out in nature. <laughs> well, my joint is half out, so I think I'm going to stop this little sec. Maybe I'll continue it a little bit on Instagram. It's so funny how like I just want to share experiences with you guys. Like I go out and I do things and the first thing I think of is like oh my gosh my friends would love this online. Like it's so nice to have you guys. So thanks for following along. Thanks for smoking with me. It's just been such a fun little experience. Oh my god you guys when you find your sunglasses I found Kaliva sunglasses in my book bag. I am so glad because I thought that I didn't have my sunglasses in here, but I did.